Hello, welcome back. Let's continue with this playthrough. Uh, as far as I remember, we were supposed to be getting a radiation suit and then venture around the Aurora to, I think, craft... Um, uh, get the fragments for the mobile vehicle base so that we can finally craft the Seamoth. Alright, so... To create the radiation suit, we're gonna need the lead. And we're gonna need the fiber mesh. Which can be harvested from the kelp. One, two, three, ah, inventory full. Okay, as long as I can get, oh no, I need two of those. Wow. Wow. And I don't have nothing to drop. I'm not sure how many do I get from Processing one of these. So two samples for one fiber mesh. That's quite inefficient. Um, let's dispose of this. I really do not have anything which I would be able to drop. Also, I gave it some thought about that place which I said we're going to build a base upon earlier and it's quite a nice place for many reasons. I also started doing some planning and I think you'll be very, very much pleased with the result. Now I can craft this radiation suit and I can replace the rebreather eventually maybe not right away but why not the main thing that I need now is to to get the mobile vehicle bay and let's do just that. It's night outside again, which is unfortunate. The water there is murky anyways. Combined with the night, you get a pretty unpleasant surrounding. Let's see where we are. Alright, still far away. Let's check, let's check this debris field over here. No! Wow. This caught me completely off guard. And another one. Where are you? I can hear you. Oh yeah, you're stuck. Come on, come on. It's probably one of those things that you cannot scan until you hatch the eggs in your alien um, containment unit. Because it simply doesn't live long enough for you to scan it. Okay, coffee machine. <laughs> We're gonna decorate our interiors sooner or later. 
Okay, bye. Okay, I am near Aurora. Now, the main thing here is not to venture in this direction right there. Because there is... You know what is there. Reaper Leviathan. Let's see what do we have around this wreck. Nothing so far. Oh yeah, the desk. Near blueprint acquired. I hate during this stuff during night. Office chair. Near blueprint. There's some basic furniture. You need a desk and you need a chair and you can sit and relax comfortably, maybe do some research or role play to do some research. Um, yeah, we can repair this. I'm not sure if we need laser cutter down here. Seriously? Sea glide? Let's get some oxygen. And let's get back down there. There's always some hidden chamber. And inside of this one, there is mobile wheel cube. Mobile wheel cube fragment in another one. I still haven't pronounced it right. And the third one. Mission accomplished. New blueprint acquired. Now let's see. I entered this room from down there. Is there maybe anything else? Yes, yeah, we will chair. For increased comfort. Near blueprint acquired. I guess there is nothing more here. Sometimes the only thing you want to do is get out of this place. So this is a small rack, but quite useful. I'm not gonna occupy my inventory with additional titanium from this thing. And I guess, oh yeah. There are always these, what are they called, lock, lock boxes. <clears throat> now we have a command chair. This was quite fruitful harvest. And I don't need to go further along the Aurora rack, but... I might as well get some advanced blueprints and resources since I'm already here. There's always something useful that you can scan. Let's see, Cyclops engine fragment. Cyclops bridge fragment. You can get entire Cyclops, I think, around this place. Cyclops bridge fragment. Let's see what else is here. Huh? It's interesting that... Oh yeah, I do have the radiation suit on. I thought I forgot to put on the mask. So, if you do not have the radiation suit here, you're gonna have a very unpleasant time because radiation is gonna slowly eat you out. Propulsion cannon, we're gonna need that if not sooner than at the moment that we decide to investigate Aurora wreck. Let's see what else do we have here. Battery. And you can hear the Reaper Leviathan now. At the moment that you can hear it, it's usually a 
a good decision to turn around. And I don't know why do I keep going in that direction. By the way, that kelp forest over there is quite the most dangerous one because the Reaper Leviathan can jump on you when you least hope <clears throat> that it can happen. Or what you least expect. We never hope for it. Silver, and that is what I do need. Nothing new here. Just some basic stuff. Now let's go along the Aurora Wreck in the other direction where it is safer. Usually I do not get nervous around the Reapers, but in this place where you can't see them well it can be quite stressful water i might as well drink it right away sand shark does its little chilling thing over there okay what is this did i get let's see Propulsion cannon is scanned completely. This thing defies physics. Mm, let's see. I do not need propulsion cannon anymore. Okay, I'm gonna start dropping the titanium. What is this? Power transmitter? Useful thing? There are thermal vents near the place at which I decided to build a base. So, we might as well use thermal power source over there. Another Reaper Leviathan is over in that direction. <clears throat> I really do not have any more space. I guess I don't need these. I drop some more. I'll leave two of those. Did I pick it? Yeah. But I do need batteries. It's useful to get enough batteries from these wrecks or these lock boxes. Because you do not want to waste copper Oxygen. on that stuff. Now, here is another pod. But I'm gonna wait for the transmission. We're gonna be back here. Let's not get ahead of the story. We got what we needed anyways. All right. This is another grassy plateau zone, but... Oh, just when you need a battery. We got plenty of those. Uh, but this grassy plateau zone is quite uninteresting. It has no... No features in the environment, just cliffs. And these spires are not too tall, and the kelp is nowhere to be seen around, so... The only thing that is good about this particular glass, grassy plateau zone is that this beautiful blue water. 
let's see if there is anything here. I think I was here, or maybe not. It's not. I do have the scanner room. Yeah. Nuclear waste. No, I haven't been here. Silver, maybe? No. Let's not drown. Oxygen. Right, right, right. Mm, nothing. Except the nuclear waste disposal. And few scanner room fragments. Alright, let's not waste time. We're on the clock. Now would be a good time to... I don't know... Let's think about creating a starting habitat. Oh, this thing tried to poison us. But before that, we do need to craft Habitat Builder. Now I do have enough silver, I do have enough batteries, I do have enough of everything to do that. So the next step is going to be... Uh, the next step, sorry, is going to be... A um, Seamoth mobile mobile vehicle bay and the starting habitat. All right, let's now create wiring kit. And the Habitat Builder. The Builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Okay. The Mobile Vehicle Bay. Where is it? Where is it? Don't need this. Here it is. Quite a lot of stuff, but I do have everything that I need. Okay. We'll do that from the habitat. Right now, the main priority is to unload this somewhere. And what most people do is create basic compartments here for additional storage, but I'm gonna build the starting habitat right away, so let's get all the materials that we need. Um, I'm gonna replace this titanium. I mean, these um, 80 kits with the titanium, and I'm gonna bring... Oh, that would be enough, maybe some glass. Let's dispose of this. Um, I don't know. That's about it. Okay. And I was very fortunate when I create, constructed the Habitat Builder. It used the depleted battery. So now it's full again. Huh, nice. Um, right, we're going to come back for this anyways. So let's, let's bring... Anything that we can. I leave some space in my inventory. Alright, where was it? So, in this direction is... Oh, we got another transmission. 
Okay, we're gonna listen to that soon enough. Capsit is the sunbeam. If it is, we will need we will be needing Sea Moth to witness the spe spectacle to its full potential. All right, now the spire which I have chosen is right over there. Not this one, not that one, but this one. The good thing is you need Jelly Shroom Key, it's right down there. You need Kelp, it's right over there. You need Dunes, it's right over there. And if you need the access to the Lost River, guess what is over here? Sparse Reef is over there, of course. But down there is a Blood Kelp Trench, and of course, the access to the um, Lost River, which is always handy. Now, I'm gonna start constructing this and for the time being I'm not gonna explain why I will be laying out uh, the compartment, compartments in this order, so... 30 seconds. No... What? What in the world? Have you ever seen this? I haven't. I have never seen the floaters free, free floating like that. Always they were attached to the rocks or something. Now, uh, I think there is no general preference in which direction you want to lay out this space because views are great in each direction so I'm gonna do something like mm, let's see something like this for now and another one now I, I'm gonna build the tea compartments here. And another one. All right. And... Um, Let's see. Hmm. I might be... I might need to rebuild this at some point. Get away from me. Let's scan you. 30 seconds. Biter. Suitable name. Why is it dark again? So, this is not really very well centered. I'm sorry, I'm, I'll try to avoid my OCD. But if I start this wrong, I'll never be able to complete it the way I imagine it. See, still not good. Well, now it's centered, I guess. Still not the best. I swear this is the final. All right. Now I'm gonna build the compartments. Uh, 
And I'm gonna build entrance here. Power only. And Oxygen I'm gonna create fire. enough lockers here. Yeah. From what? From this. So that I can move my entire operation here. These lockers are temporary anyways. Let's see, There's there was supposed to be some advanced materials, perhaps even the basic ones, right along here somewhere. I need more titanium, and I need more power, and I need everything. Yeah, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need a basic power up there. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Well, I do not need the radiation suit right now, so I might as well use a rebreather. Absolutely nothing. Never mind. I'm gonna deconstruct this too. construct another one and this will be quite enough for the start now I'm gonna deposit all these things here and I might as well sort some of those so the batteries and the tools and other stuff I put in a separate locker some recrafted things I'm gonna put here and the basic materials will go right over there now let's go for other stuff do this once and never go back let's see what do I need for the solar panels Quartz, copper, we do have that. I mean, we don't have the quartz, but we are inside a grassy plateau zone, so quartz is the least of our problems. thinking about playing the transmission now this is life pod six I have a passenger on board coordinates attached we've landed a kilometer from the crash site but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous request immediate assistance six out all right signal coordinates corrupted Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Let's see. Life pod six transmission origin. Okay, it's it it's in some grassy plateau zone. I guess it's over there. The stress signal has been received from LifePod 6, but the attached coordinates were corrupted. Last available photographic data has been downloaded and analyzed. Crew requested assistance. Navigating radiation, so it's near Aurora, so it has to be in that grassy plateau zone. Crew requested assistance. Sunk approximately 100 meters. Okay, that's a nice clue. Located in the area of dense with red grass, so it's grassy plateaus. Transmission origin approximately 400 meters west northwest of life pod 4's last known location. But we have no idea where the life pod 4 is. Is that our life pod or no?
All right, we'll get to it later. Let's now finish what we started. I brought absolutely everything. And let's take another free medical kit. I might as well use one of those now. I'll be heading back. And I will be building some basic power. And the fabricator and one radio. That's about what you need to get things going. Now, since I mentioned... power, we might as well get some quartz along the way. Perhaps silver? Yes. What about the fluid? Is there? Yes, there is. Oh no, these are not bladder fish. My god. But there are plenty of Reginalds, which means the food is not gonna be any problem. The most nutritious source of food. Alright. Now let's see. Quartz, copper, gold. 30 seconds. Process things we'll put here. Tools we're gonna put here. Eggs also, I'm not sure where to put. Let's see, maybe here. Some advanced stuff. Uh, let's not drown. Now, titanium. And before that, I do need fabricator. I mean, I do have gold. Oh, no, I'm missing the table coral. Uh, I guess I'll be heading for one more. Trip to Shallows. And I'm gonna bring a lot of table, co table coral with me. And enough titanium, because it's much easier process titanium from salvage metal salvage pieces then to get it from the limestone especially if you don't have the scanner but I don't see the metal salvage here too there it is and more And more. And bladder fish. And some peeper. Seek fluid and take immediately. And some more peeper come here. And now the table table coral. They used to break off in many pieces, but I guess they changed that. Now it's only one, which is, I guess, a way of optimizing things and making things 
more accessible to us so that you don't have to chase many small pieces. All right, uh, I'm gonna process this into as much titanium as possible. Right, I do have the table coral. Let's cook some peepers. Let's create some water. Something else? I don't think so. Vital signs stabilizing. Now back to our primary base. Not much of a base for a moment. At the moment. Another transmission. Wow. What do I need? Create the radio. Nothing too fancy, so we have everything that we do need. Perhaps some more quartz along the way. One solar panel is not gonna do much. But two will be sufficient for the start. Offline. Now the fabricator gold. Well, we do have gold. Come on. Now some power source. Oh, we need copper for that. And we do have copper too. And some quartz. We need some solar panels for the time being 30 seconds for the time being i do not want to drown another interesting feature of this spot is the fact that this reef back leviathan is swimming right i mean too close to this place so you can have a nice view of it and let's see hmm. the solar panel this is so basic but we're gonna change things eventually the moment we get to multi-purpose and the large Power room restored. all primary systems online all right and the radio welcome aboard captain the radio can be placed here. Let's hear it. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. All right. It's still not a moment, not the moment to rendezvous with them. Um, so, this is it. I've made a primary base. I provided power. Fabricate the radio. We don't need anything else for the time being. We do need the mobile vehicle bay. I might as well create it right now before I wrap this episode up. I do have titanium ingots. I do have power cells somewhere. 
And I do have lubricant. Somewhere too. I'm gonna need more lubricant, some glass. Right, let's create the C mod before we wrap this thing up. And I do need another lubricant. And that's it. I guess I might find some kelp nearby. There is also kelp, kelp forest here. And another wreck. Right, the kelp forest with as little seeds as possible. It's one seed, one lubricant, right? But I'm gonna bring another. Okay, another entrance to Jelly Shroom Cave. We know, I mean, I know, and most of you know that there is a multi-purpose room to be scanned over there. And uh, I've checked it alongside scanning the multi-purpose room. You also get a large room. Blueprint and uh, we'll get that either when we head to the Jelly Shroom Cave or when we go to the um, um, Floating Island. Right, some lead and some glass. The lead is over here. Two, two lead. One, one lead. Okay, I'm gonna drop these here. And some glass. And now I have everything that I need to complete this. How do you create the mobile vehicle bay? That's from the fabricator, right? Yeah. So, the technology in this universe is quite advanced, powered by Altera Corporation, and This thing is full of nanobots, which can construct your vehicle on demand. Always place it somewhere near your base. Now, we do need a um, Seamoth, right? Christ, where's the rest of the... Wow. Yeah, we used the one power cell. All right, we'll create another. We used one power cell for the mobile vehicle bay. So let's create another. I mean, let's create another from already wasted batteries. This one and perhaps this one. Right, now. This is gonna complete the power cell, and I do have another titanium ingot. See, you always should be compressing titanium to ingots, because there is always something new to create from them. Now, the sea moth. I might have placed this too far. But never mind, it's good. Because when it constructs a Cyclops, I do not want it to drop my base. The Seamoth is a fast, safe mode of transport. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Right. So swimming develops glutes only. Welcome aboard, Captain. I guess. Oh, 
All right, I think now we have the sunbeam transmission and I'm gonna trigger it right away. I'm gonna wrap this episode up here. Let's first get rid of these. So, oh, I'm gonna be needing radiation helmets. Oh well. So, if you like this episode, hit that, hit that like button down below. Stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.